Okay, testing. Can everybody hear me? And can everybody see the slide? Let me know. As Kathy was saying there, I'm doing an open house this week, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, February 21st through the 23rd. If you're interested in more information, you can email me at melissa at the stockswoosh.com. Anyone who came tonight, if you have the link for the webinar, <coughs> excuse me, you will you can use that link to enter the room. Okay, just so everybody knows. And we're gonna get started. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Melissa Armo, and I own my own company called The Stock Swoosh. And here we are. I live in New York and I started trading at I guess it was the end of 2008 so it's about 10 years now and when I first started trading I didn't know what I was doing like many other people and then the bottom line is that I realized you know I was gonna have to figure this out somehow some way I knew there was a way to make money in the market and I gravitated to gaps which is a specific strategy which we're gonna talk about today and I also gravitated towards shorting, which we're gonna talk about today. And we're actually, we're gonna to discuss today the play of the day, which was Walmart, it was a short. And if we have time when we're done, I can't even pull up the market because <clears throat> the market fell, fell today actually in this afternoon. So if you have any questions, we go along, we have some time tonight, just email me, I, or, uh, right in the room here and I can see the question. So we're gonna to talk today about making money trading 30 minutes a day, specifically shorting. For those of you who don't know what I look like, this is me. And if you wanna call me, if you have any questions, you can call me at 929-3200 GAP. And you can email me at melissa at the stockswoosh.com too. So I put in here all the last month, actually not quite a month, because today is the 20th, but a month's worth of results if you had an advanced risk. Now here was the Walmart. Actually, there was two trades in the Walmart today. One was a loss and one was a win. We will go over that. But in the last month, there were some days where the room was closed for the holidays, where the market was closed. There were some days where there were no trades. But all in all, it was a very profitable month. And I call the live trades in my trading room. You have to take my class and learn my method to join the room, but it's definitely beneficial to do so because I really make good calls. As I said, I've been trading for, for 10 years and and really, I don't do anything else other than what I do. And I think one of the things that has uh, made me successful is the, my ability to be able to focus really on one ticker symbol a day or two. In fact, just looking at this here before we get any further, you see where the days where there's more than two, how there was a loss in here. So, you know, the best days I ever had really is when there's only one ticker symbol. Like CMG was a good one here. This was a short. But usually if I'm doing two things, it's because one didn't work right. And I think that it's also really important to stop trading early, early in the morning, which is why we're also gonna go over that in the time of the day too. And again, feel free to, to write any questions in the room or email me when we're done. I'm just gonna talk here though, and if I don't get any questions, I'm just gonna go through everything. But hopefully we'll get some questions here today. Anyways, what, why do people find day trading so hard? I get, I, I get a lot of emails from people and they ask me questions because I think there's so much information out there. It's almost like information overload. People are looking on the net, they're getting emails, they're going to webinars, like everybody that's here tonight, and they just don't know how to decipher what from what. Not everything works. So some things work, some things don't work. It's information overload. And I think that plays a big factor in people of getting confused and not having success because you do have to be focused. One directional bias per stock, per day, one time of day, one trade a day preferably, one ticker symbol, one, one method, right? all of that helps. So there are many, many reasons though why people find it hard, but I really think it's a lack of focus and a lack of clarity. So you've got to get that right. And you've got to know that going into it. And traders often second guess themselves. Again, today was a good example with that Walmart because the first trade failed and I went right back after it. I didn't second guess myself at all. I knew the trade would work, but that takes time. It takes learning and knowing and, and having conviction. And I say this all the time, you really need conviction to trade well and make money. You need conviction in yourself, you need conviction in the market, you need conviction in the stock. Don't trade a stock you're not comfortable trading. And you need conviction in the strategy itself. 
But if you want to have great results, making money, any money at all, let alone over 40 grand a month, you really have to have the right knowledge and the right system. And it does help to have a, a support system or a mentor like me calling the trades. But I'm telling you, focus is key. And conviction is key and it's going to help you do well in the market. This is a chart here clipped right towards the end of today of the SPY. And it's very interesting for those of you that don't, don't know what a gap is. I'm going to go over that in this chart here. But the market had a gap. It had a gap down. Closed here, gap down. So the market closed here. This was, gosh, now more than a week ago, I guess. Um, and then this was on a Friday. Then the market opened the following Monday down. And we fell. And we fell hard. And ever since then, the market has not been able to recover. We haven't traded over the high of that past Monday bar. Actually, what was the date? It was February 5th. So we haven't traded over it yet. And the market's having a problem with that. This just goes to show you, again, the power of the shorts. Because there was some selling, all right? And there was some shorts also that came into the market here on this day. And that's what makes the red. So the stock price, well, the stock or the SPY, that's an ETF, the market dropped. And so shorting action is very powerful because it can come in quick and fast. And that's why I like to short more than I like to go long because you can make money so quickly. Market fell hard and fast here on this day, into the close. Fell hard on this day here. That was that same week. And then we even fell here, even though we rallied into the close. This was a down day for the market too. For most of the day, this was the last day of that bad week for the market. When we touch down here, this red line is a 200 per moving average. So I don't know where we go tomorrow. But I had a feeling this morning we were lower. It took all day to break. But I really didn't like where we were opening. Anyways, when a stock gaps or any ETF gaps, it's the difference between the close and the open. That's all that it is. But I have a method and a system where I'm looking every day to find the right stock that's gapping to know what to do with it, go long or short. And as I said, I prefer to short. And actually, the market might be a short tomorrow. I mean, who knows? I don't, I don't know where we're going to gap. But I'm just saying we're closing here week tonight. And I bet we are going to be down tonight in the after hours. So it's not quite 5 o'clock. But I guess when we're done here today, I bet we're going to be down. So it'll be interesting to see where we go. But for myself, what I do and what I teach is just focusing on the open period of the market, 9.30 to 10. What do you do? And I say you got to give yourself at least 30 minutes prep. So you can sit down at your desk 9 o'clock. You can sit down at your desk right at the last minute, 9.30. But I think you got to prep before the market opens. Give yourself one hour, 30 minutes for prep, 30 minutes to trade. It's not that much time. And again, one of the nice things that's beneficial about trading my method is you don't have to trade at 4 o'clock all day. I think that many traders lose money the more that they trade. It's, it's not something that you really want to do. It's, not, it's, it's almost like less is more with trading. You will make more money if you take more size, bigger position size, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000 shares, not necessarily trading six hours plus every single day the market's open, okay? Any questions so far here? Let me know. Anyways, we're focusing here on day trading, but you can use my method for options or swing trades, but when, day, when you day trade, there's really no risk in holding over overnight because you're in and you're out. That means you got to get out by four, and you're always in control of your money, and that's important too. And you're in control of your money because you can exit the position. You're not worried necessarily about what's going to happen overnight in the gap or the market, and you are trading on margin or buying power when you take positions as day traders, so you don't need the cost position of the stock. For example, Walmart, which, which isn't cheap, okay, if you'd shorted it today, I'm just throwing a price out there at 97 bucks, you wouldn't have needed $97 a share to trade the Walmart if you had something called leverage or margin, which every broker gives you. And when you day trade, you get a lot more margin than when you're holding overnight. So again, the benefit is you're in, you're out. You're not getting the stocks, you know, the stock certificates mailed to you or anything. And again, today, just so you know, Walmart was a short. But anyways, the idea is in and out. Boom, boom. You get the money move, you take it, you get out. Although Walmart, I will say, you could have traded all day because it really went lower and was, it was a good short. And I actually called Walmart as a put today. You could have done an option in it too. Anyways, the returns for day trading can be incredible. It's really 
not even, I don't even look at it like annual returns because if you look at it as percentages, the percentages are astronomical. They're almost ridiculous. So, you know, you, I really look at it as risk to reward. If you're risking $500, you're looking to make $500. If you're risking $1,000, you're trying to make $1,000. You're looking to flip your money over once per day. If you're risking 100 bucks, you're looking to make what? 100 bucks or close to it every day. And that's what your goal is. You're chunking it out to, to get to your goals. And if you can't afford to risk $1,000 a day, then risk what you can afford, 200 bucks, 250. Either way, you're in and out. Some of these trades sometimes in five minutes, two minutes, three minutes. It's not investing. And that's the other thing that's good too. If you are a person that is in the market long-term or retirement accounts for 401ks and stuff, you know, usually people don't look at those until they get their statements a couple times a year. Day trading, you don't have to worry, worry, worry when you're sleeping at night about what's going on with the market or your, or your investments. You just, you just get in and get out for the day. You know by 4, 4 o'clock if you've won or lost for the day. It's there. It's done. It's booked. The trades may take five days to settle, but, I mean, the trades are done before 4 o'clock once you're out. And that gives you some peace of mind, which is in some ways more comforting than long-term investing because of the fact that anything can happen overnight. And usually what will happen in the stock or the market is it will gap. And it could go in your favor or against it, but you don't have to worry about that is the point when you're a day trader, okay? Any questions Any questions from anyone about day trading or investing or the difference? Let me know. So if you're looking at doing this for a career, a lot of people are, you know, always trying to make roughly between $500, $1,000 a day, because it's really over six figures a year. And for that, it's most people can live off of that as a job. Of course, it depends where you live, depends how many kids you have, depends on your monthly expenses, but it roughs out to be a thousand bucks a day, which, which is amazing when you think about the time that you're in a trade. I mean, if you can make a thousand dollars in 15 minutes, that to me is unbelievable. Because if you had a regular job, even if you earned $1,000 a day at your job, you would probably have to work eight hours and maybe even more. You know, doctors, sometimes they're on 12, 14 hour shifts and they get very little breaks. So the benefit of trading is that you can earn a lot of money in a very short period of time, but you almost have to be like a sniper. You're in and you're out. You're in and you're out and you gotta get it right. You gotta get the time of the day right. And for me, because I'm looking at stocks that are gapping, it's between 9.30 and 10. So if, if that time of the day works out that you can be at your computer and trade, then you know my system would work for you. Personally, I like it because like I said, you don't have to sit at your desk all day. Anyways, here was all the trades from the last almost month. Tomorrow's the 21st, but I wanna go over, I did show this earlier, but I wanna go over the Walmart. So let's talk about the chart itself. This is a daily chart. Walmart had earnings this morning. Yesterday was a holiday. Market was closed. Earnings reported before the open today. And I don't even know what they said. I mean, I, I don't look at fundamentals. If you, that helps you, fine, do it. I do not pay any attention to that. What do I do? I get up in the morning and I see what's happening with the stock. And I saw Walmart was down. Closed on Friday night up here at 105-ish. Boom, open in the morning here, right around 97. So I saw this before 930. So that's the other thing. I'm all situated and ready to go and pre-planned out what I want to do before the open, which is very beneficial. Why? Because it takes away some of the stress also of making split-second decisions where you're trying to scan for 15, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour to the open, trying to find what to do in the day. I don't do that. And usually, like I said, if I don't like anything before the market opens, I'm not doing anything. Now, <laughs> but I don't get in trades before the open, I'll tell you that. I trade on the live day after 9.30. Anyways, Walmart here, I used my system and the stock fell. So it fell in the gap and then I rated it to determine if it was gonna hold as a long or fall as a short and it fell. So I was right, it was a short and Walmart looks lower and so I called a day trade in this and a put and an option trade and both are profitable. In fact, I see Barry in here right now. Barry is a student. Barry, did you do the put and did you do the option in Walmart? I hope you did. I know you did the day trade. I, don't, I hope you did the option too. Anyways, let's take a look at Walmart here. So what happened? I was very aggressive with this today. 
which was warranted because I wanted to make sure that I got it and it very well could have fallen off a planet immediately. So I grabbed Walmart here very, very quickly, but I put in a stop and I got stopped out. So the first trade in Walmart was a loss, but I held the conviction, stayed with it, stayed with it, stayed with it. And then I did a second trade in it. Actually, here it is blown up. So here I went into it, but I had a stop. Then I did it again, and then I got the drop. So this, as you can see, even though it continued all day, it wasn't in it for the whole day, but it did go and work. I figured 94, it ended up going, I think, almost to, I mean, a 95. I think it ended up going almost to 94 something. It really had a big move, but the morning move was trying to get it down to 95, which I did. This worked beautifully, but I did take a stop here. Again, I use stops, and the reason I use stops is because what if a trade doesn't work? You don't want to have unlimited losses in something. And if you don't know what a stop is, you learn that in my class too. Um, it's very important to have a set risk amount. And the problem is if you don't put a stop, you really don't have a set risk amount. Now people say, well, I can kill it myself. That's true. But if you, if you don't kill it yourself after it goes over a certain number, then you may have a problem where are you going to take the trade out because you don't want to completely ruin your week just from one trade because you forget to put the stop in. Anyways, the second trade was really good. Covered the losses from the first trade and was a profitable trade. And again, I shorted it and it worked. And the amazing thing about this, it was a really nice trade. Again, good share size here, 2000. I'm going to go back to the daily chart. The amazing thing about Walmart today, and again, why I like to short is, Stocks tend to fall so quickly, so hard, so fast. And so when you're a trader, you want to short selling action. And that's what's happening here with Walmart. So I'm sure it, today I was shorting selling action. And if you're in the option, Barry, you didn't answer me. I hope you're in it. I hope you're listening. Anyways, if you're, if you're in the put for the option, you're still shorting the selling action here in this. And this is a far way to go down yet. And again, that's why I like to short. Now, that doesn't mean that this chart is all of a sudden turning around from bullish to bearish. Walmart is very, very bullish here. It's been one of the most bullish stocks pretty much all of 2017. It's had a humongous move. Really, if you look here just since October, and this was an earnings here, but it, this one was a long. Anyways, in October, it was around 79-ish. Look where it was previously was all the way up to 110. The stock jumped 30 points in three months time, less than that. So even though it failed, failed on the earnings today, fell and is still lower here now in the interim, the stock's still very bullish. So again, you've got to know when to get in, when to get out, when to go long, when to short. But I like shorting mostly because when the panic action happens, when stocks want to fall, which is what is happening here with the Walmart, then it will happen very quickly. And the same thing happened two weeks ago in the market and could happen and, and could happen again this week too. I don't know. I mean, that's what I'm saying. Tomorrow could be a bearish day in the market. Oh, here's the same. Oh, here's a Walmart. Any questions from anyone about shorts? Anything? Or gaps as I'm talking here? Or Walmart, the trade today? Anyways, it's getting back to what I was saying. So how are you going to do this to meet your goals? Think of it like this. You look at the quantity of the share size and you determine your risk per the difference between the entry and the stop. Now, when I'm in the trading room, I call the trades live for everybody. I might say 30 by 50. If I say 30 by 50, the first number is the entry, the second number is the stop. And you got to put the stop in. And that means what? That would be 20 cents. So the risk is only 20 cents. So here, well, let's just use 25 cents because that's what's in this chart. If the risk was 25 cents and you took 4,000 shares, how much would you be risking? $1,000. So you would be trying to make $1,000. So if the stock moved 25 cents only, you would be up 1,000. 50 cents, you would be up 2,000. So once you start to learn how to do this and you plop on the size here, you can really see how you don't need some massive move every day. 
Although you will get it. You will get it in some stocks like Walmart where you something will drop a buck. It will drop a dollar, will drop more. And then for example, if you have 4,000 shares and the stock drops a dollar, you would make four grand. So I'm looking every day to get a morning move. Most of the times you get 80% of the move that happens in the morning. Sometimes it can continue all day like the Walmart, but not all the time. But I think it's important to get in and get out when you're up. And if your goal is, you have your goal in for the day, there's no reason for you to continue to take trades or even hold it if it starts to back up on you. Now, the time that I spend in the morning trading allows me to do other things. I'm on TV. I'm on TV usually in the afternoon. I'm talking to you people here tonight in a webinar. In the summer, it's beautiful in New York. Sometimes I go shopping. I can go to the gym. Okay, I did that today when we were done because I slept in this morning. You know, there's so many different things that you can do when you are trading cons consistently where you do not have to worry, worry, worry about commuting to a job or working and being exhausted for eight hours a day or more. Uh, where did I have to go? Oh, I went down to the NASDAQ. That was last week. I went down to Wall Street. I, I did a TV spot. And I had to commute during the busy time in New York, in Manhattan, which is busy. Uh, but I wasn't on the train. I had a car service. And it took me more than an hour to get down there. Tons of traffic. Very stressful. Everybody rushing to get to work. And I thought, gosh, I, I would never want to do this every day. And I felt very, very grateful then for being able to work from my home. So I think it is just a huge benefit to be able to work from home. And also, I will say that, you know, in the weather, in the winter, if you live somewhere in the Northeast where it snows, it's also beneficial, too, because you don't have to worry about traipsing out in the, in the winter. I think there's a lot of reasons why people trade. I think everybody does it for the money is the goal. But ultimately, the reason really that you want the money is so that you can have some kind of financial freedom. Uh, not having to worry about your retirement, not having to worry about paying your bills. Again, like I was saying, you know, the freedom to not have to worry about commuting, your time, what you're doing with your time. For many people, it's the idea that they can control their own time schedules and they don't have to be working so many hours a week. So it's a combination of financial freedom and just independence and time. And for me, it's, a, it's really independence. But I think everyone does it and they're so focused on money and that's true, that's the goal, that's what you're trying to accomplish. You wanna win every time you take a trade but the reason you do it, the thought process is mentally is really that you want to be able to control your own destiny. And I'm telling you, the better that you get at trading, the more that you learn how to do it, particularly my system, which is one of the reasons I've been making such huge calls in the last few months. 2018 has been a great year to start off so far. is because I'm doing this for a long, long time. I've just been doing it and nothing else for so long. I have people all the time that email me about so many different strategies. There's just no reason for me to ever do anything else. You will learn how to read a chart with me in a way that is so unique if you come and take my course that no one else teaches. And that's one of the reasons I've called the market so well. And if we have time, we will look at the market tonight because it's very interesting. I think we're, I think we're lower tomorrow. And I think a lot of people bought that dip when we bounced off the 200 pair moving average a week ago, and they shouldn't have. Any questions here from anyone? Let me know. Anyways, I focus on one strategy. And whether you decide to come and learn my method or do someone else's, I really would get one thing down. One time of the day, one strategy, one direction first. Focus on going long or focus on shorting. Focus on one thing. Focus on your goal. If your goal is to make $500 a day, focus on that. Focus, focus, focus. It, there's just so much information out there. It can get crazy. It can get confusing. If you've got the television on and the internet, you could go nuts. Just try to be in your own head a little bit with what you want to do. And if the time of the day and shorting are things that you like about my system, then you might want to reach out to me. Like I said, do the trial this week or email me more about the class. Uh, a lot of people don't understand how to short, but I'm telling you, when stocks drop, they just drop so quickly. And I find that very exciting. I find it very exciting to make money fast. Not that it's not exciting to make money even if it takes all day, but it is definitely more exciting when the money comes quicker and it's less stressful because you know you have your goal in, you know, by the morning. Any questions here? 
So whether you want to do this for a career, whether you want to do it on the side, whether you're retired, you just want extra money, I don't think it matters. I do think you need to know what your goals are. I think you need to start it at the beginning from square one and say you're going to get good at this. You're going to risk what you can afford. You're going to build your account. You're going to learn over time. Whether you do the options, whether you do the day trades, I think it's important to look at the gap, watch the market, focus on what you're doing in the strategy, focus on the time of the day, know what your goals are. If you're wanting to quit your job, say, I'm going to learn this and I'm going to do it and I'm going to give myself six months, 12 months, at the end of the year, whatever. Be realistic with yourself. Don't put pressure on yourself. Anyways, one of the benefits of trading is, again, you work for yourself. Work your own hours. Work for yourself. If you want to take a day off, the market's not going to notice. You can take vacations with yourself and you have unlimited income potential as a trader. The only thing is, the more that you risk, the more you'll make. So how do you get to the point where you can have 100% conviction and risk $1,000 in a trade or two grand in a trade even? You have to believe and know the strategy and feel conviction that it's gonna work. It was a high level of conviction for me to flip right back around. It was literally less than five minutes after the stop in Walmart that I just went right back into it and, and just called it with 100% conviction. And it, boy, I was so right. The stock really had no other good setup in the morning. So it, it's, just, it's just the knowing. It's the knowing when the institutions are going to come in and dump the stock, when they're going to come in and buy the stock. And that's something that you would learn from me because that's what you want to be with. You want to be with the people that are buying if you're going long. And you want to be with the institutions that are selling if you're shorting. Any questions? Um, I was talking to somebody last week about this with the class, you know, as far as he had done a lot of classes and he, he lost money this year so far. He's been having a down year and he's kind of down on himself and everything with trading. I, no one is born ever and all of a sudden makes money trading. It just doesn't happen that way. It's like we hear all these stories about Bitcoin, the Bitcoin millionaires and stuff. That's been big. Well, I mean, Bitcoin has been a roller coaster now for the first couple of months I mean, of this 2018. So, you know, you go through and take your hits. Sometimes people are lucky and it's just dumb luck where they get in something and they make money right away and it's a lot of money. But that's not usually the case. And most people start out with the market and trading and they have no clue what to do and they don't know what to do and they lose money. It's like you have to think of it like an investment. It's an investment in your future. What are you willing to do to get there? What are you willing to do to be successful? It, it could take weeks. It could take months. It could take money on a class. It could take, you know, the process of learning what to do. The benefits, though, far, far outweigh the pain of going through that process because you're never going to make it unless you become consistently successful. You're not going to be able to be successful unless you learn the information yourself. One of the reasons that I require people to take my class before they join my room is, what if I would one day stop running my trading room? So the, those people will have no idea what to do without me, and I don't think that that's right. So people have to learn my method to be in the room. I will grant you that me being there making the calls like I've shown you are, is a benefit, but it's really on you to learn it and understand it. And by the way, if you're risking, you know, a thousand bucks of your own money or even 500, you really should understand why Walmart was most likely to fall today. All right. Even though it rallied in that first morning period. Any questions? I think we will have time to talk about the market here. Anyways, if you want to reach out to me, if, you, if you've been going through some tough times with trading in the market, I totally get that I understand. It was a process of about three years for me to figure out everything that I did, uh, you know, and, and, and it was a hard time in my life. But I will tell you that you really do have to want it. I do the best I can to mentor people and support them uh, and, and help them learn it and help them have the confidence and conviction in themselves. But there's so many people out there that want to train and they just don't put forth enough effort and they won't be successful. Trading is a zero-sum game. There were people that were trying to go long at the beginning of the day in Walmart and probably some point later in the day thinking that it was going to reverse into this prior support and it just kept falling and it's lower. So, you know, you have to know the right way to look at a chart. It's not just going to come by magic. It really is about understanding who is in control of the stock, particularly on the day that you're trading it. And again, one of the benefits is just that you can decide what you want to do with your own life. 
And it's not about necessarily pushing the envelope that you got to have it right now this second today. I think it's about a process. And the sooner you start the process, the better. It is very early in the year 2018. It's only February. My gosh. I mean, there's a whole year's left. You got plenty of time to get where you want to be. You got plenty of time to make the money you want to make for 2018. Even if you have big goals, you got plenty of time. But sitting on your butt and waiting and waiting isn't going to get you there. Sometimes it's about you got to just make a conscious decision to say, okay, I'm going to do the work. It's like when you, if you have to start an exercise routine, it's like you put it off and you put it off and you put it off. You're saying, all right, I'm going to start it Monday. I'm going to start it after the weekend. I'm going to start getting up early tomorrow. I mean, it, you know, it's just not going to happen. You just have to say, all right, I'm committed. Finally, I'm ready to do it or wh whatever it is. I'm just saying that, but it could be trading. It could be an exercise program, anything that you want to do. That is a goal that you have for yourself in life. All right. So there's a bunch of nice pictures here, but I think, you know, and the money is what everyone's trying for. Sometimes it is about the lifestyle with trading, and I think it is for a lot of people. But honestly, I think the biggest benefit is the amount of time that you trade is just not that, not that much. When you look at the amount of time you're spending trading, I really think that's the biggest benefit of all. Although it is very nice to make several thousand dollars a day, I think that the biggest benefit really is the amount of time when you connect the money with the time, it is just amazing to me. I mean, there's lots of careers out there that pay a lot of money, but they require, you know, 10 years of schooling or more and a lot of baloney that you have to deal with working for companies and corporations and managing people or all kinds of things. Even though trading sometimes can be stressful when you take a loss, like the first trade was in the Walmart today, Overall, when you're working for yourself and you're controlling the situation yourself and you're not working under a company umbrella, it really puts things in a different perspective because it's like you're your own boss. You're running your own little company. It's called, you know, Mr. Smith Trading and you're doing it yourself. And there is a level of self-empowerment with that. There's a level of financial freedom with that. There's a level of independence. And, and, and I think, again, that that's very empowering for people, especially to achieve your goals. Anyways, what do I do? I, I look up in the morning and I look at where the stock, whether it's gapping up or down, but I like to focus on shorts, as I said, is trading in the pre-market or post-market. In fact, if anyone has a gap tonight, I'll look at one tonight. Um, I forget what was out tonight. Anyways, I look and see where the stock's gapping before the open, and then I rate it with a checklist. And I'm looking to see if it has a high probability of directional bias for the entire day, which Walmart did. Although I don't have to be in it all day, you could. I also want a big move. That big move could happen in the morning quick. I want the early confirmation of the bias in the move between 9.30 and 10, and then precise entries with follow through and a good risk to reward target, which again, Walmart was too. It went past the number though. I was thinking 95, it went to 94. You achieve your goals by chunking it out. One trade here. The next day you don't have anything, you take the day off. Maybe the next day you have another good trade. Then the market's closed. It's chunk it, chunk it, chunk it. So it's not necessarily about having these huge swings where you have massive up days and then horrible down days and you're over trading. It's, you're not, you're not swinging, swinging, swinging around. You will have some days where you end up having a really big day just because you do and the stock drops quick and fast and hard. But it's really about chunking it out. And I do think that it's beneficial for people to use my system with options too. So I have an options letter. You do not have to do the class to sign up for that. It's an annual subscription. It's $2,999 a year. It's on my website. If you're interested in more information on that, email me. You just get the trades emailed to you. But I think actually doing them all is the most money that you could possibly make. And it really has to do, like I said, with the risk. But be consistent no matter what you do. Consistency in everything with the amount of risk. If you're risking $500 on this trade, then you're risking $500 on the next, you're pretty close to it. And so that means that the quantity of this share size will vary. So if a stop is 20 cents, the number of quantity of shares is going to be obviously more than if the stop's a buck, which actually it was on the, on the one trade in the, in the Walmart today. So you have to be consistent with the monetary risk, not necessarily with the share quantity. It will value or vary. In the value of the stock. 
Anyways, I teach my method in my class. It's this weekend, and I'm doing a special three-day live trading, which is it's Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, where we're going to go over gaps live in the room. I don't do that all the time. <clears throat> Usually, we're focused in the morning on just trading, but I think it's good to do this every once in a while, and I usually do it once a year. Uh, for the class itself, I teach my 26-point professional bearish gap rating system. It's 9 to 5 Saturday and Sunday. The purpose of the system is to help you evaluate which gap to trade each morning using a checklist. One ticker symbol a day, preferably. The checklist tells you what to trade in what direction. And that helps you make money. And that's how you're going to do it. It also limits your losses because if you're only focused on one or two things a day, it would be very challenging for you to have any huge losses. So you shouldn't have any really big downswings in your account. One strategy is all that you need to be successful in the market. And I do think it's important if you focus on one directional bias first. You really don't need to fully understand everything that's happening in the market to trade or make money. And you don't even need to read the fundamentals. All right. And I don't. Sometimes I look at them or I have to talk about them on TV. But in general, that's no, I never make, no decision that I made is ever based on anything with fundamentals. I'm reading the price patterns in a chart. And I'm determining who's buying a stock or selling it. And that is exactly what I do. It's what I've done for 10 years and it, it, and it works. If you look at the fundamentals and that does help you, you can mirror that with the technicals, which is what you'd learn from me. But you cannot make decisions just based on the fundamentals because sometimes it can really screw you up. Uh, there was one, I don't know if it was last week or the other week, I don't remember now, where it, the, the, the report was positive and the stock gap down. I don't remember what it was, but it was, again, one of those ones where you say, if you were looking at the fundamentals, you'd say, this doesn't make any sense. So that's why I just look at the price. Anyways, if you're thinking about learning my method, you got to focus on your own schedule, what fits for you. You may or may not be in Eastern time zone. You got to be able to trade between 9.30 and 10. Okay, because that's when I'm looking. If there's nothing sets up by 10, I don't do anything. I, you got to be able to take the trains and get in and out quick. But again, you learn that from me. You can work from home, which is really nice. And the amount of money that you can make depends on your risk. And I would say determine that by what you can afford with your trading account. Talk to your broker how much leverage they'll give you. If you want a referral, you can ask me. It's anywhere from 4 to 1 buying power. Some places give 10 to 1. And you want to look at your account and determine what's reasonable for you to risk per the size of your account in cash so that you can afford it and you want to be able to grow your account. And I do think it's important to take money out of your account. Even if you grow it and double it in a month, pay yourself something so you know that the money is real and it feels real. Anyways, my class is called the Golden Gap Course. It's this Saturday and Sunday and Monday, bonus day, which I don't normally do. Cost of the class is $5,499. Class is online. You can be anywhere in the world and take it. I, this is an old date. Sorry about that. Deadline is not the 9th. It's, it, it's the 20th. Um, deadline is the 23rd, okay? And there are people already signed up. The trends class I'm doing next month, deadline for that is the 20, uh, 23rd if you want the Golden Gap class combo. It's 5999 The trends class goes over long-term trends trades. And that's good if you're going to do swing trades or options. Actually, this was a testimonial from last month in January from a student that had a huge trade. In fact, I emailed him today. He hasn't been in the room for the last two weeks. He took off went off in a sailboat because he had such a huge month in January. He just email me back today. He'll be back in the room tomorrow. So he made like $63,000 in one trade. This was in January. And he just took off for two weeks in a boat. He lives in South Africa. So, you know, again, talk about financial freedom. You know, you can just take vacations whenever you want. So he's coming back, but he's someone that has seen a, a, a lot of success taking my calls and I think it is just about listening to the things that I'm saying, learning the system. Anyone have any questions so far? And actually this is a little testimony from Steve and I, Steve I think you're here. Is that you Steve? I have so many Steves. There is a Steve here. <laughs> Is that my Steve or is that a new Steve? 
And Barry, you didn't answer me. Did you do the Walmart? And like I was saying, before we go over the market here, I'll quick pull it up. Open house. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. If you're interested, 21st to 23rd, email me or email info at thesockswish.com. Any questions from anyone at all? Let's quick pull up the market here tonight. Kathy's got my information in the room, yeah. 